uh, the clues in the name. It's a no-fault eviction. They don't have to tell you why. And that's why it's so difficult at the moment. So those figures that you outlined earlier, reaching really high peaks that we haven't seen for a long time in terms of evictions, they're only the ones that make it to the courts. They're only the ones that people try and push back on wow. or try and, try and stay in their home longer than the allotted time. The vast majority of these evictions, once they come in, they don't reach the courts. Therefore, they're not in these statistics. And we are looking at a, actually much wider situation of people being evicted. But as you say, there's no reason given. So under the Renters Reform Bill, a landlord would have to have a valid reason to remove someone from their home. Uh, and we think that's right. We think that you shouldn't be able to just turf somebody out through no fault of their own without a good reason. And ultimately, this is people's homes that we're talking about. These renters who are vulnerable to this eviction that may take place to them. Um, and ultimately, we, we are desperate to see these stronger protections come in to ensure that the 12 million and rising number of people that live in the private rented sector have a bit of security to call their home their home. It's a really important thing that they have this. Because at the moment, if you're sit, sitting with the sort of sword of Damocles over your head of you know that you might have to leave your home in two months' time, you don't know that your child could finish the, the term in school. You don't know that you could finish, you know, you could still go to work in a couple of months' time. It's a really difficult situation and the government have to get serious about protecting these people.